A glimmer of hope for residents in northwestern Syria, as Damascus says it has approved the delivery of humanitarian aid to rebel-held areas, a decision that would grant convoys easier access to the territory. A second UNA convoy arrived a short while ago. Fourteen trucks loaded with various relief supplies and materials needed for tents and hygiene, as well as some foods. It will be handed over to a UN partner organization operating in liberated areas. Only a few trucks were able to pass through rebel-held territories through the Bab al-Hawa crossing on the Turkish border. But the damage from the earthquake has made passage difficult. Humanitarian aid is eagerly awaited in areas like here in Azaz. This man has finally reunited with his one-year-old son after he was discovered alone in a hospital. The whole family had been buried under the rubble. We felt the earthquake around 4 or 4.30 in the morning. My wife, may she rest in peace, told me to take the children out and then the second tremor hit. We fell and I found myself under the rubble. Thank God I was able to breathe through a hole. My son was crying next door. I could hear him, but I couldn't reach him. The UN says up to 5.3 million people in Syria may be homeless following the disaster. Meanwhile, dozens of plane loads of aid has arrived in areas controlled by the Syrian government, mainly from Iran, Russia and the United Arab Emirates.